Shalom. Welcome to On Wings of Truth. I'm your host, William V. McDonald, and I'm surprised and happy to be here and to know that you are joining me this week for this time of study. We started uh, about seven weeks or so ago talking about a topic on how to enter into the enter or how to experience the glory of God. We've been talking to you about simple principles that we, that we put on as behavior patterns of how we live that opens our life up to be brought closer and nigh unto God that God may choose at any given moment to rest his glory upon us. It's an awesome, awesome experience to feel the glory of God. I uh, began writing and talking about the glory of God, the presence, the kavod, the shekinah, uh, because it was right here at GLC uh, in 2007 that I made the statement that I was going to begin to learn to walk in the Spirit. And though it was a slow process for me, learning to walk in the Spirit and to be in the Spirit on a more consistent basis, as as the years went by and, and my consistency became more uh, apparent that I was there, that I was staying within that spiritual realm, I personally began experiencing that chavod resting upon my, my heart, my life. Uh, the first few experiences that I had when the presence of the Lord came, and, and, I, and I preferenced by saying it was not of my choosing. I did not uh, uh, choose that God would come. It was God coming and, and presenting himself to me. And the heaviness of his presence I remember in the, in, in the very first time I experienced it was so, so much love and, and heaviness that was there upon me that, that it, as it was filling up my body, it felt like my body was going to explode into a million pieces. And, and, I, and the only thing that I could do to, 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 it, to deal with that heaviness was weep and cry. However, after, after learning more about the experience over periods of time, I began to realize, as we're going to talk about a little later on, a great scholar, a Jewish philosopher by the name of Abraham Joshua Heschel. He wrote in a text and said, uh, to experience, when you experience God, it is for the purpose of understanding his presence, understanding his glory. To experience God, when we are experiencing him, we should realize that there is an experience there that is, that is presenting itself to us that we, might be able, that we might learn to understand his glory and his presence in our life. Last week, we took you over and began talking to you about how to fight the good fight of faith and how to ward off the enemy once you have, you have gotten to that stage of examining your life and letting the Holy Spirit point out to you things you need to remove and then lifting up those things, that your body as a living sacrifice and laying upon the Lamb of, the, of our Messiah that he removes from us, but then realizing that the fight is not over because the ugly one is coming back again. And he's going to bring thoughts back to you and try to put them back upon our lives. And if we don't knew, know that he's doing so, we will easily receive these things right back upon ourselves again. And this time, it's going to be more harder to get rid of them because he's, he's going to get, gain an even greater foothold into our lives. So here's, here's the reality that we are looking at. That reality is... We somehow or another don't want to believe that thoughts come to our mind that are not our own thoughts. So I, I, I'll give you my own personal testimony. Uh, after a, trying to walk in the Spirit, trying to be free from the behavior patterns that, were, that was attaching themselves to me and they trying to come back, I remember coming to a point in my own personal walk where I decided 
I, I'm going to test this thing to see what's going on. In other words, I decided that the Scripture says, according to Paul, if you're going to think on anything, think on what is these things which are good and just, these things that builds you up, these things that lift you up and speaks positive of you in the nature of God. If you enjoyed this clip, please feel free to check out the full version in the link located in the description panel below. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. As always, help yourself to the diverse array of teachings located on this YouTube channel or on our website at glc.us.com.